Hi, everybody. My name is Vicki Lee. If you like my speaking, please like, share, and subscribe. Today, we are going to talk about large-scale international conflicts. And you know something? We talk, we get wrapped up in the statistics. We get wrapped up in the headlines, which are ongoing at every minute. We have 24 hours news, international news, and so we get one round after another after another of updates and downloads. You can go into social media and see it. You can go on your phone and see the headlines. And so we are inundated with an ever moving, sometimes it seems like a downwardly changing world. And so I wanted to come today and delineate and clarify and talk about the time that we live in from a spiritual perspective. I always say you can have a fraction that is as long, it's a mile long, but if you deduce that sucker down, you'll get to the lowest common denominator and you'll get to the bottom of the issues. So I contend as a Christian speaker, this is a spiritual problem. It's the hearts of men, it's the free will of men. We had talked about uh, last week in my speaking communication and the importance of it. And when it breaks down, things break down everywhere on every level. It's not just internationally, it's in marriages, it's in friendships, it's in our families, it's in the workplace. It's everywhere. When we go to the grocery store, people don't wanna get along. We see the disaster that unfolds. But as we talk about these large scale conflicts, that keep going and keep going and keep going. Um, we have Ukraine right now, and we have Vladimir Putin that is just waltzing his way into it through warfare and doesn't want to hear it from anybody. We're going to go to the Bible, and we're going to talk about this time that we live in because, you know, I really want the whole world to be set free from the fear. The Bible says men's hearts will grow faint with fear in these times. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for anybody. And the Bible is so wise. And as you look at it, it's a roadmap for our lives on every level, including what they call biblical prophecy. We live in a time we are wrapping up a whole age. We are headed towards another age. And out of chaos comes order. Now you hear that scientifically, don't you? But out, that's also biblical. Out of chaos comes order. And God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit created the heavens and the earth. They created man knowing that he would fall. They set it up to be perfect. Adam fell in the garden. They made one rule. Don't eat of that tree of knowledge of good and evil. And what did, did Adam and Eve do? They did it and they fell. So the way the world is, is not God's perfect will for us. It is his permissive will because we have free will. And in each one of our lives, we make our choices, we live, we decide what we want to do. So I'm here to tell you the time that we live in. This is why I speak. And we're going to go to the Bible. We're going to go to Matthew 24, 6 through 13. And it's going to tell you about these conflicts. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Now we know about that, don't we? All these are the beginning of birth pains. So you will also see this happen. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death and you'll be hated by all nations because of me. So that's Christian persecution. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. So the love of many is going to grow cold. Wickedness is going to reign. And you're going to see wars and rumors of wars, don't we hear those rumors, and earthquakes, and all these natural disasters all over the world. This is what the Bible is saying. And they said there's still more to come, but stand firm in the middle of these times. 
If you are a young person and you were born into this time and you are listening to me and you're saying, man, this is just overwhelming. I mean, our grandparents came in and they got what they got. It was a little more stable. But if you go back to the climate change, the um, video that I did before this one, I talk about Israel becoming a nation and how that was prophetic in the Bible. And it said, once you see that happen, you know, things are really going to start moving, moving forward. So we live in a biblical time. Now, if you're not Christian and you're not biblical, I encourage you at this time to go to that book, Man in His Wisdom, and the Bible talks about this, will want to go away from the faith. That's what it says. Even people in the faith are going to separate and grow cold, and you're going to have people, you know, giving the wrong messages like they're the spiritual leaders of the world at this time. But the Bible is so wise, and any prophecy, that's, that's like foretelling future events that's ever been given in the Bible comes true 100% of the time historically. That's why we can believe the Bible. The last book of the Bible, Revelation, tells the time that we're in. The churches, the churches are in the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and 3, are the churches, all seven churches. And so we're in an end time, and we are wrapping up. And events are moving forward. And it said when Israel becomes a nation, the fig tree, they call it, comes into the land. You know, it'll be like birth pains with the woman. She goes into labor and she feels a little bit of discomfort. And then suddenly she starts having contractions and they're far apart. And then all of a sudden, the contractions don't let up and a baby is born. That's the time we live in. And God said, I'm testing the hearts of men. So we're being tested and these things are happening and these disasters are happening and international conflicts are happening. And it says nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And in the translation of kingdom, that translates into ethnos, ethnos against ethnos. Those are ethnic wars. Don't we see that happening on a myriad of levels? And so this is a biblical time. God is testing the hearts of men. And what we lose sight of in this secular society today, where people are moving away from the faith, is that God is really in control. See, God created the heavens and the earth. God is the creator. Let me say that again. God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He gave man dominion in Genesis 1 over the earth. And he put man in a perfect setting and said, don't eat of that tree of knowledge of good and evil. Why would he not want man to eat of a tree called knowledge of good and evil? Because there was no spiritual basis for it. There was no wisdom there was no fear of the Lord in it. It's saying in the message as they were tempted at that tree was you can be as God. And we see a world in a society that just wants to be as God. We see Vladimir Putin putting himself above any morality, any um, common sense, any free will initiatives that would care about the people of Ukraine. Man wants what man wants, and he wants it now. And he has no fear of something above him as they didn't in that moment in the garden and on it goes. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are and always have been. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit created the earth and they created man knowing man would fall, knowing we would be coming to these these crossroads and, and putting the, the, the building blocks in place for us through the Holy Bible, through the encouragement of the scriptures, through God's word to give us the roadmap. Jesus Christ was sent to this earth to pay the price for all these atrocities that we see. And so God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit keep striving 
with man and keep striving with the world. And they even send speakers like myself and others to speak to you on YouTube and to say, you're going to see this and there's going to be more of it. Things are not going to get better. But we have the hope because we cannot be as God's. God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are God, three in one. They are in control. They are sifting your heart. And they send people like me to speak to you and say, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. What we have on this earth is a spiritual problem. Come in to their family. Get into the Bible. Come to Christ. Grow in his word. Calvary church fl.com they have a free teaching library including the last book of the bible revelation you can go in and grow and it changes you and you're given an eternal heritage and you're given the roadmap for where we are today so your heart doesn't have to fail with fear and you can understand where we are and understand the hope that we have and then you can be an agent for change that really is lasting and really does hold itself. And you can stand in these ever shifting sands and conflicts on the word that is the truth. And then you have an eternal heritage. So it changes everything here because you understand that what we are doing here is but a preparation for eternity. And you can understand that there is a future time coming when you are in Christ's family, you are part of his family, and then there is an age coming, the next dispensation called the millennial reign, where Jesus Christ will rule the earth in peace. And we will be his judges and his army. And we will have glorified minds and glorified bodies, a body that never wears out, a glorified mind, and we are his bride on the earth, helping him to rule the earth in a time when the lion lays down with the lamb. And you can understand the end from the beginning through God's holy word and know and be comforted in this time, unlike any other where there will be wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes and natural disasters. If you are hearing my voice, it's for a reason. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. You will be saved with an eternal heritage. And then you can come be those building blocks to give a dying world the hope of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I hope this helps everybody. God bless you and have a wonderful day. My name is Vicki Lee. If you like my teaching, please like, share, and subscribe.